Hello, hello, hello. This is kind of a weird one. It's like a sort of unboxing slash review. I don't know. It's not going to result in a new untapped review. It's just going to kind of like an opinion piece on out-of-date beer and focusing on a particular supplier of out-of-date beer or short-dated beer or whatever we want to call it. Uh, I've made an order, so let's check it out. So normally, oh, by the way, subscribe, tell your friends, give me a little thumbs up, leave a comment on your opinion, because you probably, when I do opinion pieces, people disagree. But I'm just giving my opinion, all right? So tell me what you think down below in the comments. Uh, let's introduce the site, though. We have to do that. Lowcostpeer.com. Their website is a pile of crap. Like, look how bad it is. I don't get confidence from websites like this, but the best before, not bad after sale. Specializing in short dated craft beer and cider that is neither, that is either near or past its best before date, as well as bankrupt stock, end of line overstock, blah, 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 blah. The beer rescuers, right? But the thing is, something, as soon as something is past its best before date, there's no limit on that time. It could be forever. It could, this could be a beer brewed in, 1875 and it's but who knows right how out of date is out of date they've got some really interesting discounts take a quick look at what's on tap on tap on can right now backyard you can tell by the discount by the way i i bet this is related to how old this beer is some great but look at the selection of breweries stuff i've never heard of like abc is a is pretty cool backyard yeasty boys yeah you might as well just go buy some in date Right, that's not really worth it. I wouldn't say off the top of my head, but backyard. Let's roll down. Kelly party. Look at this. Some really weird stuff that you think we, you know that might be hard to sell. So maybe there's some left over. Baboon dipa. Like I don't know all this, and I can tell you this is what happened when I came to this website and just went through picking stuff. See Whiplash. I really know Whiplash and Drone Logic, and like. This double IP down to three thirty for me, rah, you know, I'm going for it. That's a great price for that. Big smoke electric uh, urbanot is interesting um, because, and I have one of these actually, because you just can't get that here. Like, how do they even get some of these brands? How do they even get them? Because I just I don't see them. I'm sure there are bottle shops and craft brewery. I haven't tried them all, obviously. Uh, if you know where I can get I don't, that one. Where though? Anyway, so I went through and I bought a whole bunch of this stuff. All right, all right. So enough of this. Um, the reality is, I have a box sitting in front of me. It's delivered. It took a, a while, um, weirdly. So don't do this if you're expecting overnight delivery. But let's check it out. So I, I grabbed one. Most importantly, I ordered one I'd had before, even did a review of, and stuck it on Untapped. So there's my benchmark. How many people? We complain a lot. Hops die after six months. You got to drink a beer fresh. Hops, hops, hops. Stats last forever. Hops, hops. They're dead. Out of date beer. Throw it away. Really? Let's find out. I'm not too sure. I have some I, don't, I, I have no idea about. I just got them because they sound interesting and they're unique breweries. And I don't think it's fair to do reviews of any of these because they're not in their perfect state. But it is fair to do a review of one I've had before. And I can remember quite distinctly. So first, let's take a look. The box is popped. I popped one into the fridge just so I'd have it cold. But let's check out the rest, right? So let's get an idea of what I bought, the breadth of my purchase. Let's get a flashlight up as well, because I'm in the dark, right? It's nighttime. So for example, I've had Rock Leopard a few times, and I got it in, I got a Brewdog Pub, a few other, a double IPA, now, where are the, sometimes it's difficult to figure out. They all, they all put their best before dates in different locations. So the best before date here is January 6th, 2022. Okay. So like a month or so out of date. Let's try, what is this one? Unity. How do I, how do they get this? Who shipped this over? Cool art though, right? ABV. And then that's actually a pretty easy way to find these 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 dates. Well, these ones are built into the can. These are some of them are super hard 
to locate and how they get the way to print the labels and there it is there. So similar, but recently out of date. Not bad. Pretty, I'm putting that in the fridge. So I don't consider that those are gonna be too bad, but if you look at the brew date, actually let's do that. I'm sure you just saw it, but I was too busy focusing on the out of date. So this has been brewed in July, six months. Is that my worst one? I don't know. We got an Urbanaut. Remember I just pointed that one out? That's the exact one I just that was just on the screen. Other date on the bottom. This is from in like a, another country. Only recently. This is February 16th. So that's pretty good. You can go in the fridge too. So that's that's I think that's not bad, right? They're not perfect. Now here's the here's the subject we will be using. Newtown Park. I did a review of that. Yeah, I can't remember now. It might have been a while back anyway. But this one, I have I, I got two of these and I've got one in the fridge. Now let's check it out. Expired in January, brewed in July. Six months. I know what this is like. So that there's another one already in the fridge. But that's going in. That's the one we're gonna try. So very spectacular. Check out this collaboration with Fierce and NZBC. That's a dirty bottom. Ha! <laughs> That's not impressive. Who knows where that's been? Is there an expiry date somewhere else? Some of these, it's not always easy to find them. Maybe we'll give up on that one. Check back later and I'll waste too much of your time on it. Now let's get a few more. There was a few I've been uncertain about. And they don't always, I'm sure at my initial glance, February 2022. That's a pretty consistent theme. Not super out of date. Here's a love neon raptor. Local local to me. Look at that. T triple IPA. 10.5. Thin air breaks free. This is actually another one I've had before. And that's to me, that's just great news. I don't know how this could go wrong. It's so hoppy. It's so impactful, let's say. And it does have an, a, an a due date. How sloppy is that? Look at that. That's printed on the bottom of the can. Can anybody read that? That is, oh, you can actually. I turned it around. That's January 2022. Under the bridge with you. So, so far, I'm considering this a success because I can't find anything that's like crazy old. Like, check that out. Brussels Beer Project Triple IPA 9.9. Again, I have got some stuff here that I am just quite super impressed with. Any on the bottom? No. We got, we're looking for the can best before on this one. But it's all kind of just recent dead generation, which for me is like for the price. Some of these are printed on the can. Best before, 0101 is there. This is, believe it or not, this is the easy way, easiest way to read some of these cans. Oh, New Year's Day. So I haven't found anything crazy old, which to me, I'm keen on it. There's one other rock leopard I put in the fridge. Just, just double check that one. Oh, hello. Oh, let's check this one. Check that out. So that's really old. Best before. It looks like December 2021. So that's the oldest one I think I found in the pile. But that's okay. All right. So I got two of just about everything. So I just I went I went and kind of randomized. But there we so now you get it, right? They're all out of date. None of them were near end of date. All of them were out of date. And I didn't really know that in advance. I don't even think it tells you when you buy. Let's just pick one. I'm, I'm picking one in the background on the website to see if they print the date. Because some, some uh, crap beer sites tell you. Ah, great. All right, all right, all right. So you know what you're getting in for. I didn't notice this, but it's important you know this. There. So this is a, this is a quite terrible one. This is last year. Could that be correct? 
That's dangerously old. I don't have anything like that. Like that. I think maybe I just lucked out. But yeah, so there we go. That's really quite old. But they're they're upfront about it. So what the point the point of this though is I, <laughs> That's my that's a that's a scene I use for my other job. Nevertheless, press on. Let's let's crack this this open and maybe one other. I haven't had a whole lot of beer tonight, so maybe I can get away with parking another one just to try more than one. This is the new town, 5.6, new town. My buddy Rich, who loves beer, loves these guys. So not too far from Siren. And I know what it's like. In fact, let's pour it in the glass. And let's get a little bit of a head on it. So this is a six month out of date beer that I had once. And let's find it on untapped. Now look at that, look at the color. Beautiful, right? And what did I say about it last time? Let me, all right, so here, just let's show you some proof. There's me last time. Steve Jaguar. When did I have it? April 2020. Wow, it's almost a year ago. Pretty good IPA. Dried pasta, white grape, and lychee. I did the did it live with, with Rich. Yeah, there you go. He loves these guys. I gave it a 3.9. So I'm a fan of this beer. How insulting would it be for me to buy, well, two of them, and it's garbage. Now, it already smells fantastic. I I mentioned lychee. Lychee is quite unique. And a weird that I said dried pasta. Well, it's a little, it certainly has, has, it hasn't lost anything on the nose in terms of hops. It's flooding the room right now. Let's give a little, give a little taste. Okay, so interestingly, before this started, I looked up 5.6 on on Untapped, and and this is so the more recent review. Whoever this guy is, juicy tropical fruit in the nose. Agree, little thin, but what did this? Only a three. Some other good reviews. I want to see. I like when people put words in. I don't want to see adverts. 6, 5. 6. Where's the words? Another camping on a Friday, which was too dark to read the dates. Ken in July. Yeah, best before yesterday. A little flat, but still pick up the Nelson. Hope I can try. So this person probably got it from the same place I did, the just before they went out of date. Same can. Agree with the Nelson, but that's what Nelson tastes like. But it is it has a great nose. It still tastes like dried pasta, you know, when you when you eat a piece of pasta. It's got a funny finish. But I think if you have a Nelson Sauvin on its own, with like not as an accessory to some other um you know positive ensemble, that's what happens. It's just kind of like that. It's designed to have this sort of weird white wine, dry white wine flavor. This isn't terrible. Like to consider out of date beer, some kind of crime against craft. So far, I don't. Cheers! Like that's not, that's not dead beer, not at all. I didn't know what was going to come out of this. I didn't know if I was going to go. Aha! See, see. The hops are gone, but I opened it and the whole room went kaboom. And I'm sipping it. And I'm getting that odd hint of lychee. I'm actually getting a little bit more white wine. And I'm getting that a little bit funkier, I would say, on the dried pasta than I really, truly remember from it. And I think the last one I'm going to do, which I had before, which is dangerous this time of night. Let's see. I had two of these in the fridge as well, which was that, that IPA from Neon Raptor. Did I put it back in the fridge or did I put it back here? This one. So that is one I've had before because that's local to me. 
And that, let's see if that is still for sale on I realize that this is going on, but it's like an unboxing. So, you know, bear with me. What did it cost? Uh, I, have to, I have to look it up. What is, okay, this is a triple IPA. This this would be a eight pound beer. Fenrir. Yeah, it's a weird spelling, so I know, I know it's going to get wrong. The thing is, when they have these things, you don't really get much time to grab them because they're already out of date, right? Interesting. Uh, I, there's no triple IPAs. I just tried to find it and I could not find it. This is, this site is terrible. Let's just go neon Raptor. Let's see if they got anything in stock. No, it's a disaster. Well, let's just see if we can find Neon Raptor Fenrir. There it was, breaks free. This is serious. This, this was a seven pound sixty five. I guarantee you I did not pay seven pounds sixty five for this. It was three, two pound fifty, maybe? It was hardly anything. So is it is it destroyed? Is there no point in trying this? Now, this, I'm going to regret this because this is going to be a fairly boozy beer. That's not the point. If anybody ever invents an airtight cap that fits over this, that can seal a can, I would waste a lot less beer. What I need is another glass, which I didn't bring with me. Let's see if I have one behind me. I have plastic. That works. All right. That one's in. All right. Yeah, that's fine. So this is the triple IPA Fenrir. This was like. A beautiful beer when I had it. Looks okay. Dank. Strong. Citrus. So far, so good. Oh, the mouth feels fantastic on that. I remember this now. Oh my goodness, it's a mouthful. It's got a bit of Christmas in there. It's got, it's a smooth, fat, dank, uh, almost like fermented, uh, like fermented, uh, like dates or something. Because it's, it's a little, obviously the booziness is making it taste like that. But like a Christmas cake meets grapefruit. Really pungent and spicy it's how if this is lost it's oomph it's joie de vivre i don't remember what it's missing so that's my second test and that was that was super hoppy super pungent it was like a a brain explosion of hops and it still is i don't know what the the actual date like the best before it's not maybe it's best but a month off it's best. I kind of believe it. Like that's not, this is not quite what I feel like I've been sold by the industry. It's not quite aligning. I imagine you're, you know, another six months, maybe I'm taking a risk. A year at a year off, not six months off. But frankly, I'm, I'm calling this order of beer from low cost beer, a success. Officially. This is not bad when I'm, I, again, I would never review anything that came from this site because the results may not be consistent, but if I'm just looking to like stock my fridge with a weird variety of some breweries I just haven't seen before and, and some quite special triple IPAs and weird concoctions that maybe people don't always buy as much as are made, I will go back actually. 
I'll go back and I I will I will dabble with low cost beer again. I might write to them and ask them to make their website better. But why do that? Then more people would go there and the prices might change or something. I don't know. Right now it's like it feels like a little secret weapon in my beer arsenal. All right. So that's it. I tested two beers and both they both passed. I don't know what's going on. What am I missing? I think what I'd love to do now, maybe as part two to this sometime this year, what I'll do is I will I will find a beer I know I can get. So I can't get the, the Newtown uh, Park 5.6 right now. But when I find one that exists both there and as a new version, I will buy both and I will do a blind taste test. If you are watching this and you can find an example of something sold on low, co low cost beer that you know is available at the brewery direct or something like that, write it in the comments, write to me uh, at hello at beernative.tv, which I, I think I have that on my ticker. Um, Instagram, beer native, Twitter, beer native. Well, beer native.tv is how to email me and hello is how to do it. Otherwise leave it in the comments. I'll see it. Um, other than that, that's the end of this sort of, sort of weird low cost beer is out of date beer crappy verdict. No, no, I don't, I did not think it was. I think that site actually for all its ugliness, there's an app for your phone, probably a better experience. It seems okay. So I'm going to have to reevaluate my position on due dates on beer and do hops truly fade. So this will need a part two. I think it was a fun investigation. Thanks for joining me. My name is Steve Jaguer. Once again, this is Beer Native TV. Steve it.